Hey guys, it's Candace, and in today's QuickBooks Tips and Tricks, I wanna show you how to set up your credit cards if you have a main category, like a main credit card, a corporate credit card, and then you have a bunch of different credit cards under it. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to go into your chart of accounts under list chart of accounts, and you're gonna create your main credit card, the credit card, the corporate credit card, basically, first. And then you're gonna put all of the additional credit cards below it. I recommend putting either the person's name, their last four digits of their card, whatever way you can track each individual card. If you're downloading your transactions, you would download them directly into each credit card. Now the question comes into place is how do you enter the charges? You wanna make sure that when you're entering in your charges that you're going from banking and credit card charges if you're manually doing each charge. You're gonna come in here, you're gonna wanna make sure that the subcategory is the one picked as you're entering the charges. That way it goes under each card. Then what you're gonna to wanna to do, the next question I often get asked is how do I apply the payments? So what happens is you'll notice there's 275 under each, this sub card that I created and 250, but it only shows currently that I owe $250. And the reason is, is because when I created this payment, you wanna make sure that you're putting it also to the sub account that's paid. Because if you don't, what happens, let me show you one more time what's going on is if you pick the main category to pay the card down, it won't apply it to the subcategory. So see here how it says 250, but then this card says it, that they owe technically 275 and this card owes 250. These amounts to the right should actually equal what the main category is. So it happens has to do with how you've applied your payments. So make sure that as you're applying your payments, you break it down to each card and how much you're paying on that card. So if I go in here and I fix this card and I break it down to this and I click save and close, now I've chosen a subcategory. I still have the same balance, but you'll notice now this card says zero and this says 250. So make sure when you're entering your charges, if you have sub accounts or your corporate card and you have multiple accounts below it, that you break down each if you want to break down each card that you break it out. Now you don't have to break down each card. Technically what you can do is put it all to one, but if you wanna see who spent how much and track it this way, then you'll need to have sub accounts and make sure the charges and the payments, both sides get applied to each subcategory. Now, if you make one huge lump sum, you're gonna have to break it down in the check when you're inside of your payment you're gonna break down each of your cards here that you're paying and the amount that you pay all the way down. That's the only way to make sure that it gets done properly. And then when you reconcile it, you are going to actually reconcile each individual card because typically on a statement, they break it down to each card and that's why a lot of people wanna break it down. So when you go in to reconcile it, make sure you are actually picking the sub account you're putting in the amount of money that you owe going in and check marking. And what that'll do is it will show reconciliation in the main category, but also show a reconciliation in the subcategory. So whenever you create a subcategory, you wanna make sure you're doing all your work in the subcategory and not really using the main category other than to hold everything underneath of it. That's basically all you're using it for. I hope you enjoyed this tip. Don't forget to subscribe. If you need help with QuickBooks, feel free to check out Confidence with QuickBooks, my online course that takes you from the beginning to the end if you're a brand new user or you've been trying to figure out QuickBooks, but you've really been struggling trying to do it on your own. The course does come with support so you can ask me questions and I answer them inside of the course as well as if you enjoyed this tip and you'd like to receive them in your inbox, feel free to go up above or down below and join with your email and I'll send them directly to you. And if you need help cleaning up your QuickBooks or fixing something and you want more of a private session, you don't need the full course, feel free to check out up above or down below. I'll have a link for my private sessions. Have an amazing day. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next tip. Bye-bye.